Jerry and I were talking this morning. I noticed yesterday how different you look because you were wearing, I guess, pants suit or something, Robin. I wasn't she wearing looked, pants suit. You had yesterday. these drawstring pants. Like I didn't we, have on any drawstring pants. Those were jeans. Can I no. say this? Oh, were they jeans? Yeah. You bar- let me let me just finish she one second. Hot. Yeah, she, I said <laughs> you barely have an ass. <laughs> yeah. You used to have a big ass. Now you have like nothing. I back forgot there. that Robin's actual I had ass. My ass removed. So like Gary said to me this morning, <laughs> he, he said to me that. Uh, he goes, wow, can you believe how phenomenal Robin looks? <laughs> I said, I know. And then, and like the, the great gossip is how long it will last. Oh. So, I, I, and Gary even said to me, you know. Better I've last se- a while, I I've tell se- you that. I've seen Robin look this way like six times. And he goes, and I'm not saying it out of hate. I'm saying it because I know the struggle. Yeah, it's a struggle. Yeah. I feel bad. Like, I'm pulling for you. Good. But it, but it ain't you. easy. Thank you. And I'm afraid the other Robin's going to show up. You know, like how the other Linda Ronstadt shows up sometimes? <laughs> right. I don't think that Linda Ronstadt has taken full control. Exactly. The old the Linda Ronstadt I fell in love with has died. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. You can't. Yeah, that you, in other fact, one took over. You're angry at your dick for, for being in love with <laughs> Linda Ronstadt. If you tell people who know Linda Ronstadt that she used to be hot, they look at you the way I looked at my dad when he told me Shelly Winters used to be hot. <laughs> what do you mean, Artie? You were checking out her ass, too? Absolutely. Oh, oh no. Absolutely. What are you doing? What are you do- Did you cut off your mic? So you could eat? No, I, he turned it away. I don't want you to be annoyed by the chewing. Oh, <laughs> what are you eating now? <laughs> My favorite food, a lot. Um, <laughs> what are you eating, really? <laughs> it's a bagel with butter. Oh, okay. Well, that's your usual. Hey, yeah. Howard, you know what? You want to hear a funny uh, art, little arty food story? <laughs> a little arty. Y- food? Yesterday was Cupcake Wednesday. You know. Right. So Richards is trying to help Artie out. So Richard found these little Yeah, I talked about this on the air. We we talked about it at the end, but uh, yeah. Yeah, Richard found little diet 100-calorie cupcakes, and Artie looked at them and basically threw them away. But also, I love Richard, but I got to tell you, anything that's been filtered through him on any way... You're not taking. I'm grossed out by. Like, it looked like it was in the back of his pocket and sort of like he sat on it on the bus or something. (laughs) He's gross. And he pulled it out and he's like, hey, here's... uh, I had these next to my showerless ass for days. (laughs) Yeah, I know. But while he gave it to me, I literally was in the middle of an enormous crumbs cup. (laughs) Do you think Robin will go back to gaining weight or do you believe this is a permanent... Weight loss this time. Who are you, who are you talking? Well, I'll about? tell you what. I think Robin has totally. This is what you have to do to maintain. It seems like me. Like she's given herself over to this lifestyle. That's the only way you, you keep. Uh, but healthy. she did do this with that drink. I think that. Yeah, well, I that guess. drink was unsustainable. That's what right. the, the problem was. That's you feel this is sustainable? This is my life. That drink you were having the other morning, it looked like you were sustaining anything. Oh, you're so silly. When you were picking through those. That was just a supplement. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't look too thrilled with that. It's it's a supplement. It's like vitamins. Do you enjoy your vitamins? I don't know. She was stirring this cup the <laughs> other morning. I was watching 10 minutes of this. I have not getting re- lumps out of the cup. I have not seen Robin ingest anything in the last three months that's recognizable. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so I think she's going to have a tough it. time sticking Stop with it. it. Are you every irritable? Every day, every day, I have steamed vegetables sent over by from the way, pump. By the way, Howard, that's the, that's the <laughs> other weird thing that's going on. Was it, Is that around 930 in the morning? What time do those yeah, come? Yeah, yeah. Around 9.30 in the morning, you walk through the hallway, and, and people stinks. go, so we think that somebody farted, <laughs> right? It smells, right? It smells like somebody farted. In fact, one of the camera guys goes, who let out ass in the hallway? <laughs> and Ronnie goes, calm down. It's Robin's breakfast. Calm down. <laughs> All of the interns on the intern show complained about the smell of Robin's breakfast yeah, last night. Yeah. In fact, they even have it. I've been here. In fact, I've been interviewed about What is this. the breakfast? It's broccoli. You know how broccoli oh, with yeah. these things, oh, it just stinks to You high can't heaven. be happy with that for breakfast. I love it. No. You love mm. it now. No, I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you love it? You really love it? I love it. Okay. I, do you love the way you look and feel more, or do you love the taste? I mean, admit it. I don't care about taste anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, how long For the last you- few weeks, people have been complaining in the hallways of the Stern, of the Stern compound that for at least about a half hour a day, there's this insanely bad smell. I mean, with you guys that know what I'm talking about, what would you compare this smell to? <laughs> I'd say, you, you know like a bin that they put the diapers in? Like yes. Newborn exactly. Babies it That's like exactly. That's exactly what it smells like. Diaper bin. It's <laughs> a diaper bin. It's like steamed farts. <laughs> yes, there's this terrible, terrible smell. So Nick, I first really took a notice to it the day that Crackhead Bob and Kid Rock were Right, it was last show. Monday that I first noticed the smell. All right, so where did you first approach to find this smell? All right, so I'm going to do Crackhead Bob's release. I'm, I'm in the hallway. I smell shit. I'm like, well, I go to Ronnie. I'm like, what the hell is that? He's like, oh, it's Robin's food. 
No, f- my first notion was that crackhead Bob shit his pants. So obviously that's the logical thing. <laughs> right. Assume, but. Of course. So I-, I hear that Kid Rock, it wasn't you, Nick, but one of the other interns says, Kid Rock goes into the s- to, uh, Scott's studio and almost dives out of it and is like, what the fuck is that shit smell? And, <laughs> and they have to tell him there's Robin's food? Yeah. Today I had to bring it up in the elevator. And I just bring it up to my nose. It literally smells like shit. I almost throw up. I'm not even exaggerating. Meredith? When I've gotten it, I have prayed to God that nobody gets on the elevator at the same time because I'm afraid they're going to look at me like that's coming from oh, me. It's the most that insane That happened to me smell. once. What is Honestly, it? I can't believe Nick said a dirty diaper bin because that's exactly what it smells like. It's frightening. Do you... Th- what do you? It's broccoli for breakfast. It was steamed broccoli. Well, it's actually my lunch. It's the same time you get that rice thing. You yeah. get pump sends me up steamed vegetables. It's steamed broccoli. Broccoli, cauliflower, some zucchini, carrots. <laughs> I say Robin gains the weight back. I agree. Yeah. I, I she, no way she's sticking with this. I'm a vegan. There's no. nothing not to stick with. You used no. to be a witch also. Uh, I was never oh. a witch. Never. Never. You were also a horse never rider. A certified witch. You were what also if we found out died. it really is actual <laughs> shit Robin's eating? Oh. And that's how she's staying You have thin. no idea. Like one day I, I walked by and Richard Christie walked by me and I go, dude, you fucking farted. He goes, I didn't, I swear, but that, it really does have that smell. Wow. I'll let you smell it today. Is your duty deadly? I mean, like, no. do you? No, it doesn't no, smell. No, when you're only eating vegetables, that's where it doesn't smell. Really? So it's different. When it's it smells good going in. It smells like shit going out. <laughs> yes. What do you put? What do you put on the broccoli to get it down? I mean, it's just not. Sti- no, I like broccoli. You don't. You don't put any uh, soy sauce on there. No, or I don't eat soy sauce. Worcestershire sauce. No, I don't Worcestershire <laughs> sauce. Either. Nothing. Uh, no. You put any special? Sometimes uh, they send up a little dressing thing. I might dip in a little bit. But you put any Russian dressing on there? No. Nah. <laughs> no wow. cheese. No. That's no. even hardcore for me. I mean, I could hack through that, but I couldn't do it on a regular basis. I'd get headaches. Yeah. Headaches? Yeah, Where do you I, get I, headaches from? I just can't eat plain broccoli. It's just, like, after a while, I just want to eat something. I it's know a, what the answer to this yeah. is probably going to be, but Robin, would you ever consider ta- no. making a duty no. here at the studio? No. And then le- letting you what? Letting me smell it. <laughs> like. You can leave the bathroom, but just leave oh, it in the bowl. And then man. I cook it in a pie. <laughs> and I'd I eat it. it. She ain't going to do that. Come on. What's wrong with you? Artie, you're smart not to eat Richard Christie's stuff. Like, I remember Richard had be- deer jerky his dad yeah. sent oh, up. yeah. And Richard gave it to Isaac from the uh, Howard TV. And Isaac vomited. <laughs> like, it was so, it, like, it was deer jerky, and it, it was bad. It was like there was something wrong with it. Yeah, no preservatives. Bad? I think he vomited from well, something Richie else. Wait, wait, what is that? Richie got poisoned from it once. He was, like, shitting his brains out. I know, because it's like his dad makes it on the farm, and then they ship it. Yeah, they send it probably regular <laughs> mail or something. Yeah, but if, if you... If you get sick once, uh, you're fine after that. Oh, yeah, right. you're, then your immune yeah. system takes care of you. Isaac, you ate it, right? It was disgusting. He was carrying around in, like this wet Ziploc bag, and I, I was kind of like, you know, curious to figure out what it tasted like. He's like, "Hey, have it. It came straight from Kansas, and I tasted it, and I was like, oh, oh what? It's like all wet, and oh. it's like it was sitting in his it's a deer. ass or something. It's, right it's, off it's a deer. deer. <laughs> it's a deer. He ate a wet deer. <laughs> Like, Isaac ate raccoon at my parents' house too. Wow, that's what's his awesome. parents' house like? I, it, the, the house that's it's like a house that looks like it, like you could push it and it'll fall down. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little. It looks on the on a lean to on the TV special you guys did. It kind of yeah, it kind of looked like one of those like prefab homes. Like it doesn't even have like I think a foundation. I think it's the exact opposite. I think it's so old that it's just about to fall. Yeah, it's uh, like 150 years old. Does it have hot water and stuff? Yeah, yeah. We got all the conveniences. Does it come up in a pump or do you have faucets? (laughs) No, we have faucets. (laughs) Like there's a part in his room where like there was like a hole in the wall. And most people, if there's like a hole in the ceiling or the wall, they'd fix it. He he taped it. I just put scotch tape on it. Just put tape on it. Yeah, the house is taped together. I did that. Yeah, when I was in high school, I fixed it. And your dad doesn't want to fix it? it's still there. No, nah, I guess nobody uses that room anymore. Does your so. dad own that house, or is he rented? Oh, yeah, they own it. <laughs> he rents it. It was $28,000. He's a proud owner. Yeah. How much is it worth now, do you How think? many acres? 29, probably. <laughs> 29,000? <000. laughs> no, really, seriously, do you have any idea what the thing could be worth? No, you know, they got six acres of land, and they got barns and stuff. So well, has anybody sold in that neighborhood? <laughs> There's nobody in that neighborhood. <laughs> Has anybody ever, like, have your neighbors sold their six-acre lot? No. I mean, the the, uh, the neighbors have been there for, you know, 20 years. Right. If so. I you think if I walked in there, 
with like fifty grand in cash, you think he'd sell it to me? Uh, they might. Yeah, they might. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, That's Richard, cool. this is your dad. We just sold the farm to Artie. <laughs> That's gonna be a great bit. I'm gonna go buy Richard's farm <laughs> and rent it to him. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you could buy a farm for the same amount you offer chicks in here to get laid. <laughs> What did you want to say, Ron? I was talking. I wanted to talk about Robin's breakfast or lunch, whatever uh, it is. You get to carry. I, I get to set it up in the morning. Right. You know, I, I separate everybody's food and. Bring no wonder you're so angry. Yeah. yeah. So every morning when it comes in, we, you know, I set it up in Scott's studio on the table, and it's like, when I open up the bag, it's like somebody took a shit. It's it's. <laughs> wow. I swear, it's horrible. Everybody, they smell it through the whole oh. floor here. <laughs> it goes into the bullpen, and it, right away you hear the interns going. Who's shitting in the hallway? Where, where, where is that coming from? Oh, wow. And then she drinks. I, what, is, what is that cup, that, that stuff? That's, I used to get a juice. It looks uh, like, it looks like <laughs> somebody drained blood out. Dracula drained somebody's blood and put it in a cup. What is it, like cranberry juice? No, no it's this, big, this thick shit, man. Oh, oh. Robin, God bless you. I mean, really. <laughs> that so is, much preparation. That's impressive. I mean, that's, a hard, that's hard to commit to that. Oh, my God. But I, I was there when Kid Rock walked into the studio that morning. Yeah. And he went to cut an ID. He was like, who the hell's shit in here? <laughs> I mean, you and you know, Kid Rock, he doesn't pull any punches. He goes, this smells like shit. What is that? Say, so Robin took a shit in here. <laughs> Could you imagine if you ate like that and you that's still great. look like crap? Like, like, like well, see, that's the good thing. You do. Now, what do you eat? That's your lunch. Then what, and then you don't eat till dinner? Um. Because you're losing weight rapidly. You look good. I mean, you look very, very feminine. I eat whenever. Titties look huge now. <laughs> the ass is tiny. You got you got a sexy body. Well, thank you. Good for you. But you don't even have anything to wash it down, like a soda or a uh, beer. Uh, I have water. What over are you wearing here? today? Let me tea? see. Let me see what you're doing. I'll oh, take a look. Please. Let me see. Model a little bit. Ta-da! Oh wait a second. Step out Man, of here. Let's you take look a look. Amazing. Let's see what's doing. Florentine, what are you doing, jerk off? You <laughs> jerk off. <laughs> Make a move here. <laughs> he is. He's made his move. You got to go iron Sounds for a like little it's bit. Going slow. Let's see. You got me pulling up my pants. Let's see. Oh, wow. God. You see, you're wearing you're wearing normal pants, not stretchy pants. Turn around now. Let's see your ass. Look at that. God damn wow. it. Wow. The titties. <laughs> the tits are perfect. Good for you. Whoa. Wow. That's a well, fifty. This is what comes of eating stinky food. I know. <laughs> Robin really's got a, a playmate body. And you know what's crazy? You look like a playmate. And you what? know what's crazy? You look like a playmate. Oh my god. <laughs> it's time for you to get on the Sibian. Yeah. Now's <laughs> your chance before you gain anything back. And finally, crazy? this th finally this matches her attitude. Her shit really doesn't stink. Right. <laughs> Good for you. So you're going to continue with this vegan lifestyle? I love being a vegan, yeah. You do. And you like this drink and all of that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that drink kills me. You should see her mix this drink. <laughs> I don't know what the preparation's like for the enema, but the drink oh, preparation. Oh, with you in that enema. She's got her head buried in that drink, and she's mixing with a plastic spoon and pushing to the side these clumps that appear in the drink. <laughs> right. And she presses the clumps against the side of the cup, and she is busy. You really watched. Oh, I was there for, I was into, and I couldn't believe you didn't see me watching you. <laughs> I wanted you to, you would have laughed because I was buried in it. And the clumps, and the clumps don't break up. It's very difficult to break up these clumps, evidently. Well, you I, I know, when imagine. you pour a dry, pour water on a powder, you know, it sort of like clumps up. And then when she drinks it, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, it looks like, looks like piss. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and what is that drink again? What is it actually? It looks like a lemon of some kind or a clear liquid. Yeah, it's like, a, it's it, actually, it's a little pink. It's, uh, I don't even know what that flavor is supposed yeah. to be but it's just a you know an antioxidant supplement and this is all from dr ronnie she uh inspired this uh, no it's a mixture of things now i see yeah i've got all kinds of uh people and, advising me and your buddy judith regan she's eating the same way and, and drinking the same drinks uh, to a certain extent yeah, yeah i mean i don't see her exactly. being a vegan no. no i don't know that she's given it the full commitment but right now she's still juicing i bet she likes meat oh yeah <laughs> Yeah. If you go to uh, Gary Page 2 at the bottom right hand corner, uh, we have a clip of. So Kid Rock was signing the release. Yeah. What do you got to win for the food? Uh, All right, let's hear. I love this. So I crossed out most of them, just the ones there. And Who the farted? It's not like shit. It's fucking food, food they got in here. Oh, oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who farted? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I love it. It's fucking, it's, it's not farting, it's broccoli. You know what? It doesn't smell like a crumbs cupcake. You're right. Mm. 
Yo. <laughs> hey, can I ask a question, Howard? Yeah. I know I'm opening myself up to a world of shit, but I got to say, how come it's interesting to observe what Robin eats, but not interesting for Artie and I to observe you eating pizza? I agree with you. It's different. I don't know. Somehow. <laughs> Who's the host of the show, guy? That's a dumb question. <laughs> Are you going to do any uh, photo spreads anywhere, like a magazine interview, so you can show off your new body? Like um, I'm thinking like, about. Yeah, like Kir Kirstie Alley did. I'm thinking about. Would you go on Oprah and if she invited you and get in a bikini? I'm thinking about. Really? Are you really? <laughs> I'm only what teasing. are you thinking about doing? I don't know. I'm thinking about doing a whole makeover. It's the I might greatest my whole look. What do you think? Whoa, 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 whoa! A makeover. <laughs> yeah. What's that mean? New hairdo? Mm. New everything. No more dreads? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't mm. decided yet. I'm still thinking about. What it. would you go to? I don't know. Better not touch the tits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jimmy. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't turn white. That's, that would be the ultimate. Yeah, the Rama's crazy be thing Swedish. is your tits are just as big as ever. I know. They never it's go away. It's insane. Like, I can't diet she, them down. She had breast reduction. That's what people don't understand. <laughs> Robin and has they're great as big tits. as can be. Really? Get, is there a chance that Jimmy's going to see the tits? Oh, my God. Come on, is there a chance? I, is there a chance Jimmy about? hasn't seen them? Please. You what think he has? I, I, think, I think Jimmy's definitely gotten to second base and seen Robin's I got to tell you, the evil side may come out tonight. This is going to be the first time I'm going to be in front of a crowd with Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> this is a charity event, I, I know understand. it is. Well, they, the children uh, present. The a crowd, crowd that you might want to, like, lighten up on. <laughs> the why crowd might ask some questions. Why don't yeah. you become the next uh, Miss Howard TV? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Honestly. No, thank you. <laughs> Where's the next Miss Howard TV? Speaking yeah, you, you <laughs> missed uh, your girls. Get her in here. They're all great. Uh, what, uh, what kind of makeover? I don't know. I'm thinking about changing the, my clothing, everything. Get Beth involved. She loves doing that makeover I know, stuff. I know. She's good at it. Well, you dress good, though. Yeah, what are you going to change? She's thinking about dressing like Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth, oh, yeah? the Elizabeth Queen of England. Yeah, you know, that Kate retro. Blanchett thing. White powder. Yeah, the yeah. white powder and the wig. <laughs> and have a little trone in there. See, Jimmy, you get to talk to her in a way we don't. <laughs> I get the inside stuff. Jimmy, right. only you understand me. <laughs> and this Queen Elizabeth look, even the tiara and everything. Absolutely. She's going to have piss boys and everything. Wow. <laughs> What's a piss boy? A piss boy. The guy, when you got to take a piss, you don't have to even get up. They come over, you pee in a bucket, and then they take it away. <laughs> wow, a makeover. I can't wait so ron what's this what's going on you smell it oh you smell it dude did you just drop a deuce i haven't even opened the bag yet oh. we're gonna have a good show and we have a great show so it's gonna be funny and it's i don't know what to do now to let's bring it around see how, how if people uh if the smell is really that putrid just to everyone walking around yeah let's walk it around you don't even have to pop it open today robin's breakfast stink fest part one He's bringing in the smell. And, uh, oh, here it is. I got it neutered. Oh, and I, got it trained. I don't know if that's Robin's that breakfast or Ronnie's depends. Hello. What are you doing? Get that out of here. Let's bring it down to Richard Christie. See if he can no, even take he's it. He's used to smelling this. <laughs> Oh, God, you hear him? I'm not going anywhere near him with this food. Are you kidding me? Let's see it. What does this actually look like? Okay, now, first we have a salad. That smells fine. That's pretty normal. Yeah. Now, are you starting to get it now? Uh, now that the bag is really open? Uh, dude. Hold oh, on, I can't even get it out. It smells so bad. Doesn't even want to come out of the bed. Dude. Oh. Ugh. Dude, I'm gonna throw up. Ugh. What do you want, Greg? I'm just covering did he, the. Did he let him? You didn't. It doesn't him. smell when once it's out of the bag. <laughs> yes, it does. Not as bad though. Initially, it was it was pretty bad. Did they witness that? Did they? Everyone reacts to it as if there's someone going to the bathroom or something horrible happening. Some sort of natural disaster going on. Absolutely. And there are times that it's sitting there and it's still reeking and people open the door. And I say to myself, I hope they don't think I did something in here to make it smell like this. <laughs> but, but does it taste all right, though? It tastes really good. Do you want to taste it? Could I look at it without the... Sure. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Broccoli just has a strong odor. That's it. 
So it really is just vegetables. Yeah, and you can smell it now. But it's not as bad as when you close it up in that brown bag. No, it, it isn't nearly as bad. It was really bad when they first brought the bag. You're right. Yeah. But it's working. Thank you. Working very well, I might add. Thank you very much, Greg. <laughs> so that that in, in itself is the reason to keep going. No matter, people think your you know your lunch is stinky. Big deal. <laughs> Big deal. I don't really care. No. Right. I think uh, some of the stuff I see them eating isn't so great either. Now, when friends of yours, like like um, you know Howard and Fred and Artie, are commenting on how how good your body looks, is that a little awkward, or is it still complimentary? Oh no, it's complimentary. What would be bad about that? Well, just because it's more of like a, a brother vibe, you know, they're more like your, your friends, like your... But they're not saying, you know, they're not going too far. They're just being complimentary. They're not being think? lewd. They're just being, you know, they're just admiring. Uh, Greg, uh, we're back on the air. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so Fair stop enough. coming on to me in here. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, what, what do you got in the news? And I'm going to go right over to Mike Walker. Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 newsroom. Just asking, what were Robin Quivers and Jim Florentine up to last night? Uh-oh. Oh. Mm. Did they happen to take in a Joan Rivers show at the what? cutting room on West 24th Street? <laughs> they did. Next story. <laughs> wow, second day. They did. Robin <laughs> says yes. That's I didn't it. say anything. Yes is I told you he all over that beautiful new face of yours. <laughs> wow. Did he fill you up? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Does Jim Florentine load. know what your breasts look like? I get the no. lowdown tonight. He doesn't. <laughs> you telling the truth? But I'm I know what the they truth. feel like. You, he doesn't know what they look like. No. Does he know what they feel like? No. I can draw them for you. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. I'm glad they turned off Jim's mic. <laughs> yeah, Jim, what's with your mic? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. I got one of her tits on my face. Boy, when Jim says I'm taking my girl for coffee, it's a whole oh, yeah. new meaning now. <laughs> now I need a little milk for this coffee. Haul one of those babies out, okay? Yeah, you went on a date last night. How'd that go? Uh, Joan Rivers was really funny. Yeah. Did you, you sat at a table with Jim? No, we sat at separate tables. Why? Oh, you're so silly. Of course we sat at the same table. What a great date. Mm. Is he going to be coming with us to the jazz bomb and Terry thing? <laughs> wow, good for you, second date. <laughs> Things are heating up, huh? Good for you. Would he like, what'd you wear? Uh, a, a shirt and, and some pants. Hot. With your new body, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> Did he comment on how pretty you look with your new body? He said I look nice, yes. yeah. And she felt good, too. <laughs> what a charmer. <laughs> Did yeah, you, he was right on that. You wore a bra? You look nice. Did you wear a bra? <laughs> yes, I did. No panties, though. <laughs> did you wear Did you wear like a low-cut top? Because I know you like that. Uh, I, I suppose somebody would call it a low-cut top. All right. You had him out there, huh? Good for you. <laughs> you know how to get him in. You're so proud of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> How did you get that story? Yeah. <laughs> like I said before, sometimes we get good tips. Hey, Steve, this is Jim, but you didn't hear it from me, okay? <laughs> no, it certainly wasn't from Jim. Let's see if you can you slip that, that uh, thing that I'm doing with the uh, you know, the charity event in there <laughs> along with it. Oh, by the way, we should. Uh, there are still a few tickets available tonight at the State Theater in New Brunswick. Did you go anywhere after words, or did you just go to the concert and then leave? <clears throat> uh, did we go anywhere after? Yeah. Uh, we had to leave. Yeah, we couldn't stay there. No, I mean, did you did you part ways or did you go for dinner or did you go for drinks or? We went for drinks. Oh, you did? Uh -huh. now, what we do you went do? to paradise, baby. <laughs> you should you know, have every Where do you go for drinks? <laughs> like, where do you go? To a bar or like a hotel? A bar. A bar. A, a restaurant. It was a restaurant. Oh, actually. so you have something to eat with your diet. It's no, hard. No, I didn't <clears> eat. <throat> did you I drink? I hungry. I had some wine. Oh, you did? Ugh. Doesn't that put weight on? Mm. No. You're okay with that? Yeah, wine is okay for me. How many glasses did you have? I uh, think I had maybe four glasses of wine. Oh, yeah. She's lying. <laughs> we went to my car and had a six pack. <laughs> You're no, kidding. maybe three. You had three to four glasses of wine. During the course of the evening, we had wow. wine at the, the <clears> She was lubricated. Show. Wow. You, so we, is it fair to say you were drunk? Is it fair to say I was drunk? No. Uh, bullshit. You could drink four. You should drink four glasses of wine and not be high. I was three. I wasn't four. I'm not saying she was no, drunk. No, maybe four. I, it was so four. you were you were high. <laughs> she was seeing double. She saw four balls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But Joan is really funny. And so, how late Joni, did you how Joni late did you stay at the bar? Funny, funny, I mean, funny. you had to work the next day. How late did you stay there? I don't know. You don't know what time you got home? Wow. No, I don't. Did you get home after midnight? No. Did you get home around 11.30? Uh, the news was on. So oh, 11.30. 11 o'clock. <clears throat> wow. That's late. 
Did you even get home? Yes. Well, not home, home. Where I was staying. Whoa. Where were you staying? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Where were you staying, Jim? I was staying in the city. No. Oh. And Jim drove you or walked you to your hotel. Yes. Did, did there come a time that you found Jim in your room? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's order room service. Jim, kiss you goodnight. He kissed me goodnight. Oh shit! I know how to. Ah! That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I know how to. Uh, I know how this to tell if she stayed at Jim's. Uh, on your way to work, Robin, did you see the Paramus Mall? <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you kiss in front of the hotel? No. Where at the bar? But when did he have time to kiss you? Where could he kiss you? I don't know. Where were you? You were so drunk you didn't know where you were. <laughs> I was like Fred with uh, Gay Rich. <laughs> no, but I mean, you really didn't know where you were. I don't you? recall. Were you in your room? He walked you no, up to your room, no, didn't no, he? No, no, no. He didn't come into the room. So where would he kiss you? The way you could do it privately, so that people wouldn't see. <laughs> I'm not talking. He's going to start writing. Don't write, please. <laughs> There's nothing to write here. I don't understand where he would kiss you. Uh, where did he kiss you? Listen to the playback, Steve. Under the table. <laughs> no, I mean, where, where can he do that? Like, where he, can he do that? If he that? walks you to your hotel, I assume he kissed you in front of like, the doorman and stuff. And no, he didn't kiss me in front of the doorman. Where, where do you go to hide? I'm curious. Uh, in an alley. He pushed you into an alley? Yeah. <laughs> in the car, in other words. He had a car. No, no. In the cab. What? In a cab. Were you in a cab? And then he kissed you goodnight. No. He walked me to the door of my hotel room. Oh. Mm. oh. He probably thought you were going to invite him in. see? He's <laughs> scribbling again. <laughs> That's big news. <laughs> you Do you think funny. he thought you were going to invite him in? No. So you were standing in the doorway making out with him? I didn't say making out. I said he mm. kissed me goodnight. Was there tongue involved? It was on the lips, wasn't it? It wasn't the cheek this time. No, I'm not discussing this any longer. Oh. That's it. Cutting me off. Yes. <laughs> Because this scribbling is getting on here's my what I'm, Here's what I'm going <laughs> to... Steve, will you beat it with the scribbling? Here's what I'm going to yeah, tell you. Dude, Can I tell you what I'm going to tell you? Here's Go what ahead. I think. I think he walked you to your room. I think he made out with the guy yeah. for a few minutes in the, do- in the doorway. Yeah. And I think he put his hand on your tit. Really? Yeah. I think he I think. gave you a Bronski. <laughs> <laughs> did he touch your breast? No. Bronski. But he did make out with you. No. He I didn't say you. anything about making Just out. Just a kiss I on the lips. I said I got a kiss goodnight. Why wouldn't you make out with him? I know you, you're horny for a guy. You like him. Why not make out with him? Please. I'm I mean, just saying I kissed him goodnight. That's all I'm saying. And, and you're telling me he didn't want more? I'm, that's all I'm saying. I told you. This is our conversation over. Motorboat, he played. It didn't go any further than kissing. <laughs> and now would you say he is your boyfriend? No. But there is, there's a romantic interest. I'm not saying anymore. You're interested in him, aren't you? He's a nice guy. Plan to see you see each other again, Robin. We have no current plans. Mm. Are you open to the idea? Would you be open to the idea <laughs> if Jim? What is this? Now I'm hearing this strange can. Are you going to go see? You know, he's a big fan of Sabra Kadabra, the Black Sabbath <laughs> tribute band. Are you going to go see them? <laughs> when you were kissing, did Robin, you... this is where they do the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> were you uh, when you were kissing? Did you feel All right, that he got here excited? Here we go. Here we go. Did I you... said it's over. Did you feel anything over, pressing into your abdomen? Over. No more questions. He's tall, so I figure Over. his penis would reach your no abdomen. No more Feel my pecs. questions. Feel my pecs. Feel my pecs. <laughs> no more questions. I did some extra bench work today. Miss Quivers, Miss Quivers. Okay. <laughs> it's a press conference. Would you be available for the wrap-up show, please? What? Would you be available for the wrap-up show today? No, thank you. Uh, thank you for the invite, but no. Robin, let's get to the bottom of this. What, what is going on here? What's going on where? Sometimes you say you're not with Jim. Now it's been revealed you've been on a date. When did I didn't say anything. Well, the, the news is breaking all over the place <laughs> that you attended a Joan Rivers show. Yeah. And you're sort of implying in several ways a lot of the time that you're not really dating Jim, but here's proof positive that you are in fact dating Jim. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm saying you're being very <laughs> elusive. You're being very elusive and we all know what's going on. Let's come clean. Hey, bro, this is a phone mess real quick. Jim wants to know what time checkout is at the hotel. <laughs> is that something? Very funny. <laughs> you know, Benji, you're a good writer. Oh. I'll say noon. <laughs> Tell him it's noon, guys. <laughs> if he's at the hotel, can he call the front desk? Seriously, Robin, it, come on, cave in here. We know what? what's going what? on. What? There's a budding relationship going on right now, and you keep denying it. You've even gone as far as to imply that I should ask you out when, in fact, <laughs> you're involved in another relationship, which is what? which is horribly mean to a young man like myself. Right, I see you're all broken up. I am. <laughs> I think I'm being pursued, but then when, in fact, you're really in pursuit already and engaged in a relationship. 
I, I don't know what you're talking about. I went to see Joan Rivers. Is that a relationship? With a special, rather taller, young, uh, blonde gentleman named Jim Florentine. Did I go with him? Or was he there? you like, oh, what are you asking? Well, basically, oh, let me pass the camera <laughs> here. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, this has a lot of potential here. An immense amount of potential. Well, how do we look? Beautiful. You look, huh. you look great. I think this could happen, but <laughs> but you're in a relationship, Robin. This isn't, how is this going to happen if, you, if you're in a committed relationship? Uh, uh, wait a minute. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, my man Langford over here, he, uh, he broke a story. And it yes. seems to have a great deal of validity to it. He said I went to uh, a con or uh, like a nightclub. Yeah. With. <laughs> With. We'll call him Mr. F for now. <laughs> we'll call him Mr. F. <laughs> but we all know what's up. Come on. Come on. We're putting two and two together here. All right. So I went out with Jim Florentine. Okay. So then from that, how would I possibly be able to pursue you if you're already in a relationship? I'm being played is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, that's so ridiculous. How so? You know, it's, it's sort of, what was that line? Um, speak for yourself. You know, it was when that guy was talking. He went to Miles Standish, I think. He went to pursue this woman for another guy. And she was like, why are you speaking for him? Speak for yourself. Okay, speak for yourself then. No, I'm saying you should speak for yourself. Oh, I, I was completely lost by it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, there's nothing I can do, though. I'm, I, I'm, I've, I've been sort of pigeonholed into this this role. I, I'm being played, is what I'm saying. I, I'm, a, I'm a pawn in your you're game, pawn. In, your, in yours and Jim's game of love. Oh, and I, I, there's nothing I can I do. See. Oh, you don't like your role? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I want a more active role. All right, well, we'll have to rethink uh, okay. your character. Okay, but I think I, I think we know what's going on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking I'm about. I'm not as dumb as I may appear. <laughs> I don't know why you're uh, implying that something's going on. So is there, okay. is there any hope for, for young Greg here? There's always hope. Uh, you have to live uh, with hope. Oh, that's, that's a terrible generic <laughs> answer. You could say that to anybody. <laughs> but, all right, well... I hope you and Jim have a long and, and fruitful relationship. <laughs> well, uh, I, I don't know why you would say that. Well, I think we're going to have to go back to being friends. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's our only option. At this Is point. that right? Yeah. Oh. Cause I know, cause um, I know, I'm hurt. I know what's going on. I know. I see right through this facade. I know exactly what's going on. I'm broken up. I'm, ah, I'm really hurt. All right. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe in the future. We'll see. Right. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Now that you rejected me. Oh, that's not the case at all. <laughs> See, she keeps it up nicely. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, Steve. goodbye, my love. Greg, Greg. I think she likes you more now. <laughs> I'm doing I mean, the whole, uh, to the get. whole aloof. <laughs> but you go ahead and have your gym, Robin. I'll just. I'm going down to my many women over here. Not gonna wait around, Robin. Yes, Isaac. Let's see. Uh, turn around. Let's see what everyone's talking about. Uh, there's no, <laughs> no, no, what? Well, let's see your butt. Show it. Come on. You're straight, straight, just straight you should be proud. Right Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. Oh, you, you look great. Thank show you. Us what, show us this, this figure. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You <laughs> 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 devil. <laughs> I thought that thing had a zoom on it. What kind of camera work is that? <laughs> That's you should punch the camera. It has a wide lens too, thank God. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to start that kicking. No, no, no. <laughs> Just, you know, when you got, you know. That's the only part that's... I lost my balance. I lost my balance. I see. The camera's very uh, top I end. see. You're, you're falling forward. All right, Rob. Hey, you look great, Rob. Thank you. <laughs> with this whole thing with Robin, I really don't know what to make of it because... She's clearly in some sort of relationship with Jim. Um, I'm into the idea of an older woman and, and hooking up with an older woman. So, like, if she ever wanted to, you know, knock back some wine and, and hook up or something, I'm com completely down with that. I'm completely game for that. So, whatever. But in the meantime, I'm not going to be some pawn in, in her game between Jim. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be played. I'm not a piece of meat, Robin. So, you know, when you're ready, I'm here, and you know, I'm willing. So, until then, my buddy Jim, I'm not going to uh, C block you. I'm going to. Uh, let this unfold naturally, so whatever happens. Ronnie, the limo driver, had a birthday party. 
where now he's hooked up with a new strip club. Uh, let me say, this place is, is awesome. Yeah? <laughs> really? It's a place called Headquarters Club on uh, 38th Street. Just It's just off of 11th Avenue. And man, the broads are hot. It's just so much fun. It's a fun place. The music was great. We we had a blast. We had a blast. And uh, I mean, but I heard that everyone was acting like jerks, especially it, Ronnie. You have no idea, man. Well, like, how could Ronnie act like anything? I else? say I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it got so out of fucking control. What happened? Um, you know, uh, I heard that some stripper. Here, tell me if I have this right. Go ahead. Uh, threw a cake in Ronnie's face. Wow. And then Ronnie took a bunch of cake and started throwing it at people and getting getting it all over the place. This is what I meant. Okay. So they were like Damn. destroying the club. They, destro- they, they trashed the club and then um, I heard Ross Zabin was going to punch out Ronnie just like right in the face. Wow. Just deck him. Well, listen, I, we got that, you know, it's Big John from, from school. Yeah, I know Big John. He's, he's so nice. He was real generous. He let us have the run of the place. He's we a good guy. We were having a blast. They, they had great food. And uh, I'll tell you, the chicks were so hot. I must have been there for about 20 minutes. I said hi to Ronnie. We did a shot together. He was having a good time. And um, I saw this this most smoking, a stripper with maybe the hottest body I've ever seen on a stripper, okay? Wow. Brazilian chick. And uh, I'm like, yeah, let's get a lap dance. So I got some funny money, and we went in the back. I must have been in the back for like 45 minutes getting lap dances. She was just, she was fantastic. Wow. So I was away from She rub up into your wiener? It was a good lap dance. She right. gave you a Brazilian lap dance. It was a good lap dance. She, we, we didn't talk about the Iliad. <laughs> yeah. So uh, she's that great a dancer, huh? Yeah, yeah. and uh, I'm telling you, this place is awesome because in the in the places where you get the lap dances, they got fucking flat screen TV. Every sporting event. You Are can you see. serious? You order a bottle, you go in. It, it, the place is so fantastic. you watch a sporting event and have a lap dance. Why you getting a lap dance? Wow. It is extraordinary. It, so it, what it, happened it, with the cake? So chick? so I go outside now, right? Yeah. Now I've been gone for a while. I walk outside, and it's mayhem. I see icing all over the place. I'm like, what the fuck happened? I look over. Big John's face is covered in icing, and his whole shirt is covered in icing. Ronnie's face is covered in icing, covered like like he's in a, a kabuki mask or something. All white icing. Oh, there yeah, he is. Like that. That's oh. what it looks like. Whoa. And I, I, have, I have this jacket on. Now, look, I don't have expensive jackets, but I only got a couple of jackets. Ronnie sees me, grabs a huge chunk of cake, and starts running towards me, and I'm like, get the fuck away from me. I almost ran over the stripper who was counting her funny money. I ran down the stairs, and Ronnie throws the cake at me and hits me with a huge fucking piece of cake in the back. Ah. And it's all over my jacket, and I'm like, Ron, come on, what the fuck? I Why mean, are you doing that? And he's wearing a Superman costume? Why would I don't you know do how that? I got to do Why would you hit guys you know, in the cake, you man? You know, guys got to go home. Let me fucking question. Yeah. Will you please? Yeah. Why am I the one... Who's getting blamed for this? I didn't even do anything. You're throwing yeah, cake at people. No, I'm standing and minding my own business, and I get hit that's fucking in the face with this cake. By who? For no goddamn fucking reason. So why I don't would know you take guys started. and start throwing no, cake all over the club? because then John, whose club it is, yeah. he starts throwing the cake. But then why did you throw it at guys then? then why, if you didn't like getting hit with a cake, why would you throw it on other men? But you, you stop when you. I ask you a sense. Uh, I ask you for common sense. Why, if you don't like getting hit with a cake, then would you throw it at Ross? Everybody's throwing everywhere. No, that's not what I heard. I heard yeah. you started you, yeah. throwing you it. Hear, you always hear your story. Ross the way said he was going to punch you right him. in the Why fucking head. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that right? Well, let him do it. Let me see him do it. Why big was he going to punch you? Shot. What did he do? Ronnie goes up to him and smashes him with a piece of cake. Ross oh. had cake all over him. Oh, poor boy. But, so what are you doing? Why would you do that to people if you don't like it? Why would you do it to others? Why did why why did it start to be why did Wait, I get smashed? A girl in the smashed face you. you so I don't know. You who don't did like it. it. Why would Dude, you do? Dude, I don't know who did it to me. A, I couldn't a even. I couldn't even it. fucking see. A stripper. It was did up it. my nose, in my ears. I had no clue. I'm minding my own business. I did nothing wrong. No. no. Then once you got hit with the cake, you took cake oh, and threw it all. Oh, it's me, dude. What yeah, the fuck? It is you. <laughs> the guy has you into his club, and once again. Who does who who gets up at the hijinks? Someone does something wrong to you, so then you just take the cake and throw it all over everybody else. Okay. They were there to have a good time. Yeah, so was everybody else. And so so, we got so a, you're you mad we, because somebody put cake all over you, so now you're going to make everyone suffer by throwing yeah, cake at them. Yeah, I made everybody them. suffer. Yeah, everybody suffered. Guys got to go home to their wives and stuff. They're covered in cake. They don't. They, what are you doing? Yeah, what am I what doing? Are doing what to, am I, what are you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Why did you do it? Artie didn't throw cake on you. Why are you throwing cake? Well, he at wasn't him? even there. He was in a room. I got out. I got out. He, I didn't, didn't see who started, started it or anything. It was just people. There was cake all over the place. Yeah, right. Exactly. And then you walked out. Who threw cake at you? Ronnie threw the cake at me. Yeah, right. Okay, so I threw the cake at. Him. So, okay. so you don't understand? John's why he, throwing. A, you, you, you say I ruined the guy. You're like club. a little kid. Guy, I'm not talking guy, to John. I'm talking it's to you. His club. He's but I'm throwing the shit. Okay, all over but I'm talking to you. Why'd you throw it at Artie? Because everybody else was having a good time doing it. We were doing it. So you had a good time doing it. 
So you Not, like it? I didn't start it, dude. I was. So why would you continue it. it if you didn't like it? Good God! It's idiotic it's behavior. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Z. You what say, about the fucking place stop. getting evacuated? You don't say nothing about that. I didn't get to it yet. That's, I'm just asking you about, about. I'm that. asking about That's you. Another story. <laughs> I'm asking about you. Why would you throw cake everything on Artie? Is me, Jesus. Why would you? Christ. I'm asking about you. Why did you throw cake on I Artie? I just said everybody was doing it. Okay, that was it. I God. was minding my own fucking business. I get smashed. I can always like the with. asshole. Yeah, right. Okay. So you got smashed in the face, so you got to hit Ron. You got to hit Artie. I don't know who did it, Robin. A, I a stripper see. did it. I know all about it. I, <laughs> I don't know. I, the, the cake throwing was 15 minutes in by the time I saw <laughs> it. And by the way, the, here's, here's the bottom line. Nobody was throwing cake but Ronnie and Big John. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. And Ronnie's always in the yeah, middle right. of something. Yeah, Ronnie was in the middle uh, of something. Uh, uh, guys, come on Nobody in. Nobody was throwing it except me and Big John. Yeah, okay. Ronnie was so drunk at the end of the night, A, he oh. couldn't speak. And, right. and, and he was throwing cake yeah, with I Big was, John. I couldn't speak. That I was able to fucking drive home with no problem. I couldn't speak. That's not according to the, my, my oh, notes. Break. break. Come in here who's writing this stuff. Let's yeah. fuck some hoes. Oh. <laughs> it's Jason and JD. afraid to look yeah. at him. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. I, I didn't see who Look else. Who's talking? Who's Shut fucked up? up. The Go ahead, J D. Go ahead. Oh God! Now he's angry. I, do, I wasn't even gonna throw you under the bus. Throw him under the bus. Who cares? What now happened? you can throw no, him. I was gone. just like I was in a corner, standing away from everything. I was I, I saw people throwing cake. I was staying away from. You gotta it. see what J D. looks Here, like. He's, Scott he's Scott just like miserable. From, Scott. Really? from my vantage point, the only one that threw any cake was John, and then Ronnie. W- was just going crazy. Someone would walk by Ronnie. Because Ronnie's retarded. <laughs> Someone would walk by him. He'd have a handful of cake and just smash it up against their face. Yeah, wow. So I boxed myself in a corner so no one could get me, and then that was it. <laughs> you mean to tell me you go to this party? It's so great. There's girls there. Yes, this, aren't Ronnie's you guys like a sixth grader. Girls? Hot girls, man. Yeah, hot Real girls are there. And then you got so Ronnie sits there with with John and just throws cake at it, it people. It was all over the floor. You try to go get a drink after that, and you're slipping on the floor because oh. it's just all ever on everything. Uh, this is only the beginning of the story. It's on the wall. But, 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 yeah. No, but I'm just, you know, I don't understand. Oh, thank you, Scott. So it was just Ronnie throwing cake, essentially. For, for, for the most part. Right. I, I think I saw a couple other people, but it, right. it was mainly Big John. He was, he was a big part of it. Because nobody's there for that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Jason. First of all, and thank you, Ronnie, for inviting me. But yeah, all I saw was Ronnie in that Superman costume. He's covered literally head to toe in cake. Like his face, his his body. And if he couldn't get you with a piece of cake when you were walking by, he'd run up and try and bear hug you to get the cake. All I think that's why me. Ross almost hit him. Yeah, because, because he's angry. He's angry. He's angry. The anger is seething. But there was cake. I mean, it was a huge cake, and it was just cake. He can't, in the floor, he can't like just to, caked into the floor, I guess. Isn't it enough to be at a strip club? I that's what dances? you would think. Why the cake? Well, that's throwing? how it started out. It was a, it was, it was a great. I mean, it was a great party, and I don't know how it started, but by the time I came back, it was cake all over the place, uh, and it looked like I, good cake too. It was a it, yeah, complete I wanted, waste. I wanted to eat the cake. <laughs> But well, uh, you know, it's you know that thing where some guy, somebody's drunk and they're about to do something out of control, and you say, "Don't do that," right? And they they come to their senses and they don't do it. Like I could tell Ronnie wasn't going to do that. He no. was gonna, he was going to throw a piece of cake at me no matter what. So I ran for the door. He chased me, fucking whipped it at me in the back. Look at how hot those broads are in the back. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, well, who's busy with cake? Jeez. Why is he in the Superman outfit? <laughs> I don't know. I'd be busy. A, I'd be busy. Dressing him? I don't know, but I'd be busy with those girls. <laughs> yeah, see you a don't picture. need a cape. I got a picture of a Brazilian chick. I, I, you got to see this broad. Well. Um, so that happened. Yeah. Now, so, then what else happened at this party? Well, I mean, I wasn't there. I, I was not there. But there but was some kind of evacuation? There was an evacuation. Now, the word I'm getting is that Tim Sabian, our program director, <laughs> who's another genius, <laughs> He, he took a fire extinguisher <laughs> off the wall and started spraying the club with it. Oh my goodness! And I then found out the reason, Howard. What? I found out the reason. Why? It was a fire. The party was getting boring. Oh. Oh. Gee. How does it get boring with all those hot chicks? All right. So. Okay. What the girls left? Yeah. I, so, mean, I mean, do you understand does these it homos? A sausage no. party. So listen to what I. Here's, <laughs> here's what happened. Doug Goodstein and I were sitting on the couch. <laughs> And I picked up the fire extinguisher for what reason I do not know. And I hit it. I picked it up by the pin, and the pin pops off. And all of a sudden, it shoots out. I'm like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "How the?" And I'm like, "Now what?" Why are you busy with a fire extinguisher? I don't even know. He and I are sitting in the corner just talking. Who knows? Tim, should I tell an accident? Tim, should I tell the rest of the story? (laughs) Yeah, tell the rest of the story. Yeah, go ahead. Now what? So that's that's that's. Wait, wait, wait. What? (laughs) What, Gary? What, Gary? The entire office is out here screaming bullshit. Twenty guys are out here screaming bullshit, saying. For something went or accidentally, why was he pointing into people's faces? Well, then, Tim, I want to cover for you, but it's out of the bag. Well, yeah, with, after, <laughs> with, after, after the it bag. went off, the thing's off. I'm like, all right. 
Yeah, so right. Might as well have some fun. So, so and I didn't know I was the, with a bunch of women. Jesus God, we're out with the guys. After the cake throwing incident, I don't know, call, call me a party pooper, but I got more funny money. I went back in the room with the cake. <laughs> yeah. So I disappeared for another. It must have been a good, it was the longest I've ever disappeared with a broad at a strip club. I must have been there for another hour. Wow. Yeah. So I come back out. And uh, and now um, people are starting to move downstairs because they want to have a, a contest to, uh, uh, you know, a stripper's uh, Halloween costume. Okay. So we go towards this hallway. And as I'm walking towards the hallway, uh, I see all this dust all over. Like that white dust that comes out of a fucking fire extinguisher. And I'm like, what the hell is that? They're like, oh, Tim, uh, by action, hit the fire extinguisher. And Sabian is sitting by the fire extinguisher trying to drunkenly put it back on the wall. And it's not working. <laughs> So I go by and all this dust, it settles. So now the floor of, oh, the floor is cake and dust. It's like the most, it's going to be like a major cleanup. I was thinking every time you come out of that room, first you come out, there's cake right. flying. Look at that, Howard. Well, there it is. Oh my so goodness. the security people, we look like we're in the middle of a snow globe. <laughs> a snow globe at a strip club. Whoa. So now I said, Tim, what are you doing, man? It's getting all over the food. So he looks at me and goes, ah, fuck you. I go down this narrow corridor leading towards the uh, bathroom. Uh-huh. There's, there's guys getting lap dancers. There's other chicks hanging around, people just talking with drinks. And he just gives a, a huge fucking shot of that shit oh. down the whole hallway. And it just covers everybody. everybody. And they had to evacuate the building? And what, what happened was it, looked like, with it looked like smoke. So security people start running past me and these girls and everybody else who was in the hallway thinking it's a fire. Oh. And I go, guys, it ain't a fire. It's the dust from the fire extinguisher. Because they were going to go crazy with axes and shit. Right. And uh, <laughs> they, they we just had to let it all settle. It settled on the cake that was on the oh. floor. And then we all had to moved downstairs and there was an unofficial va evacuation of, of didn't, the, didn't the club get upset with you guys i mean big, it's big john's club he, he's he was getting everybody a pass he's like yeah mm. you know i love you guys but this is fucked up bro. yeah mm. I mean, what's with Tim? What kind of... Nuts? This is a guy you have running this whole organization? Uh, yeah, I don't we were understand. All drink. I mean, we were I don't, all drunk. But I don't understand being in a club full of naked women. Mm. And, and guys having cake fights. They're clear. That's what gay. That's what. Not even. I shouldn't say gay. Gay men would be having a good time. Dude, I want to. I want to use the right word here. It's like. It's like little kids, like boys, nine-year-old boys at a it party with girls. It was an accident. <laughs> Dude, what's the matter with you? Uh, like, hey, I don't know. I picked it up get by Get a lap pan. dance. It was a, it was a Why are you even touching a fire Why are you exactly? bother with it? It's not an accident. You're, you're being funny. No, no, it was an accident. Seriously. No, it isn't. <laughs> they totally single-handedly ruined the party. If I could I mean, tell you, it just ruined it. Well, um, if I may say, Howard, if I could tell you what, uh, what lap dances ended up costing me, it's why they're not all getting lapped. Hey, everybody saved gotta, a lot of money. Yeah, right. You gotta have some money there. Is that what it is? It's a lot of money, you know. Dude, I was getting a lap dance right in the middle of it when he sprayed it and then the strippers just started choking on my oh, lap. Oh, <laughs> the on me. If you don't fit, you thought he was getting hot for you. It's like, what's wrong in here? <laughs> <laughs> just keep dancing, honey. It was a room full of a lot of people having a really good time and then instantaneously everyone started coughing and gagging and had to run out. I mean, wow. it just, it killed everything. Well, there you go. We wow. moved downstairs. I don't, God knows what that room looked like upstairs the next morning. Yeah. It was... It was really just like uh, wow. Uh, you needed a hazmat team to come. Boy, in. I tell you, if I had been there, there would have been no nonsense. Oh no! You didn't think it that was funny? Like you know, these no. guys don't know what to do when they go out. No, they don't know how to handle a strip club. I mean, we were all drunk and everything, and it was funny. Great. Yeah, but you knew to keep with the girls. You kept walking back into that room. I wouldn't think about any fire extinguisher. All I think about is women when I'm in a strip club. Artie comes out of the room. There's cake flying, and Artie comes out of the room again. There's a fire extinguisher. I wouldn't even know Doug Goodstein the was place. there. I wouldn't know Tim was right. there. Well, I wouldn't. He no, basically had his own party, thank yeah. goodness. If you asked me who was at the party, I'd say, I don't know. All I saw was girls. I wouldn't even look at the men in a strip club. And the, but they they were very generous to me with the funny Ronnie's money. But throwing, if, Ronnie's throwing cake. This guy's with a fire extinguisher. Tim. I had a sore throat all weekend. I still do. From yeah. breathing from, in that yeah, crap? Yeah, from breathing in the toxic fumes. Yeah. But uh, I went up there maybe a half hour, an hour after he sprayed the fire extinguisher. It was like... The day after, it was like the day after a nuclear war. Uh -huh. It was just like this, this a fine snow. dust. It was just <laughs> snow. Everything was everything. There was no sign of humanity. Uh, it was really fun. Yeah, it looked like a ghost town that <laughs> yeah. uh, right, boys, had nuclear you. ash. Very nice. Tim, what really happened in there? Picked it up, popped off. That's easy. That easy. So. The pin just fell out and it started no, shooting. I picked it up by the pin. That was the problem. That was the first mistake. That was my first mistake. First mistake was going.